If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question before listening on. We can begin this question by noting that the amount of energy stored is equal to the power multiplied by the amount of time. Now in this problem, it's useful to remind ourselves that power is equal to the potential difference of the battery multiplied by the amount of current that it produces. So we've substituted delta V times I in for the power P. Now the question notes that the potential difference of the battery is 12 volts, so we know that. And then we have this term I times delta T. Now we know the unit of I, which is current, is amps. And then of course the unit of delta T could be expressed as hours. If we look carefully, we see that the question gives us an amount of current multiplied by hours. And so this entire quantity, I times delta T, is going to turn out to be the 55 amp hours. So we can make that substitution. So here is the potential of the battery, and again, here is the I times delta T term, which was given to us as 55. So we can perform this multiplication and we get 660, and then the unit will turn out to be watt times hours. We can see where the hours come from in our setup. We have to remember that a voltage multiplied by a current would give us the unit of power, which of course is watts. So we want next to convert this into kilowatt hours, so we can move the decimal over three places to the left, and we get 0 0.660 kilowatt hours would be the correct answer to part A. For part B, we just have to note that the cost to run this battery is equal to the amount of energy it produces multiplied by the rate of cost. Now the rate of cost was given to us as 12 cents per kilowatt hour, and then we just determined that the energy was 0.66 kilowatt hours. So we're basically just going to multiply our energy by that rate, and that's going to give us the overall cost. And when we multiply those two quantities out, we get approximately $0.079. Or if we want to express that as cents, we just have to move that decimal over two places to the right. So we get 7.9 cents would be the correct answer to part B. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you're welcome to send in your own question to this email address.